Hi everyone. I am so glad that you're here today. I have the cutest little flowers to teach you how to make today. They are made just out of the most simple ingredients. They're just made out of pie crust and Pillsbury pie crust is what I've used. And then it's just lemon pudding and then a little confectioner sugar. And they're so, so cute. So let's get started. These are just so adorable. All right, so all you need, like I said, is you just need pie crust. And I have been letting my pie crust set out um, and just letting it just come to room temperature. And the reason why you wanna do that is because when you unroll it, it won't kind of break apart. If it's cold, those little spots where it's rolled up, when you unroll them, they kind of tear if they're not room temperature. And all of a sudden, I cannot remember where I put my scissors, but they're right here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this out. And then I'm just gonna unroll it and I'm gonna put it down on my counter. I'll bend this down so you guys can see. Okay. All right, so you kind of just flatten it out. Can you see that? And I found this little flower cookie cutter. I found this actually at Walmart. And you're gonna cut, cut it out. Try to get as many as you can. My mom always taught me, you know, just to try to get it as close and to the edge as possible. You wanna push really hard so you get nice clean cuts. So, Melissa, you guys know, uh, my sweet friend Melissa works for me and Mama Sue in our office. And she loves a party. If you have been following us, you know that she does. Everything is a celebration to her. So she made these and brought them in. And I was like, oh my goodness, tell me all the things. So. That is why I'm making them for you today. Okay, so next what you do is you take your little mini pan, okay? And I'm gonna move this over and put this here so you can see. But you take each little flower and you're gonna put it down inside the muffin tin and just kind of gently poke it down in. This is making a lot of noise, so I'm gonna get just my little towel. Stick this here. Okay, I'm gonna do this closer. So you poke it in and you want the little petals to be on the outside. So what that means is you do every other cup, okay? So you're gonna gently poke this in making sure that the little petals stay on the outside like that, okay? Now I'm gonna come to the middle. Now, if you want, you know, there's two pie crusts that come in each one of those little packages. You can just make as many flowers as you want. Let's see, this makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of this size. and then you're gonna put it right here. I'll show you the package that this cookie cutter came in. It is a lot. Oh my gosh, 
of cookie cutters. My grandkids love to take my cookie cutters and then we get the Play-Doh out and they go to town using my cookie cutters with their Play-Doh. So they're gonna be pleasantly surprised at how many I have. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this one right here. I do have a bigger pan. I just didn't wanna take the time to make all of them. So I just wanted to give you a little sampling of what this is gonna look like. Okay, so once you do that, then you wanna poke holes in the bottom of each of the flowers. And that just allows air to kind of come out so that it doesn't just puff up. Okay, can you guys see? All right. So again, I have preheated my oven to 350 and I'm gonna put these in for about 10 minutes. All right, so I'll stick them right here. But I'm gonna watch them. I think I'll set my timer for seven minutes first. Let me move this up. And then I'll just kinda keep watching the time, okay? Let me show you This is the box that I got the flower cookie cutter out of. And look, all my stars, you really do get all of these cookie cutters and it's a lot. So I think it was about $12 for all of them. Okay, this is made by Wilton. Okay, all right. I've got all the cookie cutters laid out on my table <laughs> right over there. So anywho, all right, well, I will be back very shortly. I'm gonna let those bake and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so I just took these out of the oven. Aren't they so cute? But I wanted you guys to see, I'm going to leave them in the pan to let them cool. Um, I put them in for right at 10 minutes. I checked them like at seven minutes eight, nine, and it was 10, and now they're just golden. But I don't wanna take them out and I don't wanna cool them on a cooling rack because they will kind of just start to flatten out and we don't want that. So I'm gonna let these cool, and then once they do, I'll be back because then we have to add the lemon, excuse me, the lemon pudding, okay? All right, see you soon. Okay, sweet friends, so I'm back and I have let these cute little flowers cool completely. I'll turn this down so you guys can see them. Aren't they so cute? Look, they're just adorable. All right. Okay, so they're ready, and now what we need to do is we need to make the pudding that we're gonna put in it. Um, so I am just gonna use the Jello pudding, the lemon. I'm gonna try to get this box open. and you just need two cups of cold water. I'm sorry, cold milk. I'm gonna be using whole milk. You can of course use whichever you like. I think the recommendation is like whole milk, but you can certainly use one or 2%. Mm -hmm. So I need to put in one, two cups. And then I'm gonna whisk this. I know you guys, it's very watery to start with. And then as you whisk it, it just becomes thicker and thicker. Okay. So while I'm whisking this, so I'm gonna set my little timer. Of course, you guys know that if you've done this a time or two, if you've made pudding before, as it thickens, you can tell that. But honestly, after you leave it for about five minutes, that's when it sets up. So if you're not, if you haven't been, if you're kind of new to cooking and baking, um, just know that it's gonna be a little bit runny than what you expect it to be. But still, again, really important that you whisk it, that you stir it really well, 
for a good two minutes. It will start to thicken up as that happens. And I'm just one of these girls, I always have a timer for all the things. So I like a good timer. And let me see. Okay, got another 40 seconds. And as I'm stirring this, I wanna share with you guys something that's really exciting. I was recently asked to be on a podcast and to be a guest on the podcast. And the podcast is called, and I pulled it up so you guys could see it. Can you see that? Stories of Hope in Hard Times. That's the name of it. Stories of Hope in Hard Times. And it is, if I could have created a podcast, this would be the one. She speaks to people who have been through really hard things, but people who love the Lord and who hang on to hope in order to overcome the challenges in their life. She is actually a mama of two autistic boys, and she has written a book, and she is, oh my gosh, being able to be interviewed by her was such a pleasure. So I wanted to tell you guys about her because I think I might be on that podcast. She said it might be released sometime in July. We'll let you know about that. But she sent me, she is, she's also been awarded. This is another book that she's, it's just a little story really. Um, and she won an award for this story and she sent me like 10 copies of it. And so it's called The Mother's Might, an Old Parable for Modern Women. And so what I thought I would do is I thought the next 10 cookbook orders, I'll just stick this in for free. So if you would like, if it's time and you've been thinking, I wanna get a cookbook, please go ahead and order the cookbook and then I'll just put this in also. I think you will love it. And we'll also link her website and we'll let you know where that podcast is on this post. Y'all, I'm new at this. I don't know all the things I'm supposed to say. So, okay, so right now we have, the pudding is ready. It's kind of thickened up, okay? And what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna use a spoon. I'm gonna use just a measuring cup and I'm gonna point this down so you can see. Okay. And then I'm just gonna fill these up. I just kind of dump them in. Okay, did you see that? Just dump it in. You guys, these are so good too. And if you want to have them for like a shower, or this is so cute for a Mother's Day dessert, these little flowers. You just will keep them in your refrigerator. Whoops, it's a little too, oops, oops, oops. Okay, well, that one gets, it's gonna get eaten by me. Okay, all right, so you see how those are filled? Now to make them pretty, what Miss Annie is gonna do is I am going to, let me see if I can fix this at all. I've just got some powdered sugar and I have a little sifter. And then what you do is you just sprinkle this over the top. Now what will happen is the confectioner's sugar will be absorbed by the pudding and it'll kind of go away and you won't even know that it was there. Okay. All right, and then after you do that, you just put them on your pretty little plate. Okay, so I'm gonna gently pick this one up. I said gently, didn't I? Here, you guys can still see. So it goes on your little plate like this. And you see how the powder sugar is disappearing? It's being absorbed. 
by the pudding. Right, isn't that so pretty? Okay, now because this one was kind of a little bit messed up, you know, this is my favorite part. This is where you get to eat that. <laughs> okay, all right, so. Oh my goodness, you guys. That is so good. You will love it, love it, love it. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Please go check out that podcast, podcast, Stories of Hope in Hard Times by Tamara K. Anderson. When she interviewed me, she wanted to hear the story of Daryl Stroke and how I can do hard things came about. I talk about you guys and how I started Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen, all the things. So we'll let you know when that comes out. And again, the next 10 people who order a cookbook, I will put in this special sweet, sweet story. Oh my goodness, it is, it really is. It's just, it's called The Mother's Might, an old parable for modern women. And it is so, so good. Okay, everyone. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you loved this video. I hope you'll try it. Let me know how it turns out. Um, be sure and like and share this video. You know I'm on YouTube. You know I'm on Instagram. I love it when you comment all the things. Love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.